Good! Our next comedian is a professor! Oh my god! At, and now I have to read uh, Professor Sustainable Mobility and Logistics, but it is at the Economy Faculty because she is a real economist. And, well, of course, comedy by a real economist. I hope she's not just gonna read us the year budget of Greece, but we will see. <laughs> Please, your applause for Kati Bakari! <laughs> Good evening, everyone. So don't worry, I will not uh, be too much an economist. I really feel much more like an eco-activist. <coughs> you know what that is? It's that growing group of scientists who are just too lazy to write papers and sit quietly in the office like we're supposed to do. We prefer to go to demonstrations and write short opinion pieces. And we're, of course, very engaged. Now, I'm a real one. I'm a real eco-activist. I came by public transport. I have earrings with trees in. I'm vegetarian. Well, almost 90%, I would say. I, I just can't leave the bloody beef sticks. <laughs> and I also don't shave the hair of my legs to keep me warm in winter. <laughs> so... We're, of course, very engaged, and I'm really concerned about the climate. And in my research domain, logistics and mobility, there is a lot of climate stuff to do. It's one of the main causes of climate change. So, some weeks ago, I went to the TRB conference in Washington. It's the largest conference in our domain, 30,000 participants, and really the top scientists who are really making a great effort to show how brilliant they are. Now, I was also allowed to come there. I had a paper about transport and climate, and I was allowed to show that with a poster, a bloody poster. You know, posters are really for losers or for <laughs> professors from the Naldi. You have to stand there next to your bloody poster waiting for someone to ask you a question. So, but I, I really wanted to go. It's a free flight to the US and I'm collecting miles like every other researcher. And another reason to go to the US is it's really challenging to talk to Americans about the climate. <laughs> It's a bit like talking to a 10 years old child about anal sex. <laughs> They're shocked. <laughs> they don't want to hear about it. And anyway, their knowledge about the topic is completely premature. Well, my, my little cousin was. <laughs> so, luckily enough, my whole emulation about that poster session was forgotten because I was invited by Obama. Now, Obama, he's really my favorite American president. That Mr. Fifty Shades of Brown, he's so hot. <laughs> and also, you have the other one that almost made it as president, but he is also very famous for climate. It's Al Gore. He's the one who's talking about the oh shit moment. The moment that you really realize, oh shit, we have to do something about the climate. Now, for Bill Clinton, that oh shit moment was called Lewinsky. <laughs> but that had more to do with the climate in his trousers, right? <laughs> so, Obama, my favorite one. Um, he was there, I was getting nervous, of course, um, and I said to him, um, well, let's talk about the climate. He's really good because he's the first one who talked about the climate in the present term. We should do something right here, right now. All the others are always talking about our grandchildren. We should do something about the climate for our grandchildren, but come on, who cares? So, Obama, I said in my best English, if I don't trump me, Barack, 
the climate policy of the US really sucks, right? So what are you going to do about it? Now, Obama, he responded, and he's always talking to those screens, you know, he's a um, uh, cue, he's just uh, following those lines that, he's, that is written for him. So he answered me, well, Kathy, you are the expert, right? What did you tell at the conference? So I was there. This is my moment. Here I can make the change. Because I have a real great story about sustainability. It's called the triple A theory. Now the first A is to create awareness. We have to create more awareness about our link with nature. And here in Brussels, how do we do that? We've put a lot of military people in green. We have much more green in the streets. <laughs> they call it camouflage in a city, come on. <laughs> but we have indeed a lot more green. And they even give uh, shopping advice, going to the rituals. <laughs> what we also did, we would tweeted cats a lot when they were searching that terrorist Salah. And so for days and weeks we talked about Salah, Salat, Salat. So again, that link with nature, it's really strong here in Brussels. <laughs> the second A is about act as if you are already in a crisis. We have four climate ministers in Belgium. <laughs> They've been playing cards for years. They were even too late at the top in Paris. Yeah, Barack, you know, eh, because you were there too. But um, there is one very effective. She's really making that link between the environment, transport and climate. When she does a schauke, she just destroys the whole forest put concrete on it, and that's much more robust for the climate. <laughs> so, let's go to the third A, and that's avoidance. If you're doing nothing, just like you are doing, just sit or stand, you may not breathe, because breathing out, that's CO2. <laughs> you may also not fart, because that's methane. But anyway, just sitting, staying at home, that's the best you can do for the climate. So let's ask people just to stay at home, telework, teleconference. They will, that will be the best for the climate, right? The only risk is that they start to um, order things randomly from the internet. So my advice is just make e-commerce completely illegal. That's really so bad. One package per time, one or two packages that are brought to your house. Come on, we can easily also import bananas one by one. So it's really very, very bad for the sustainable, sustainability of our transport system. Now, I think we can make some exceptions. Those products that you don't want others to know that you're actually buying them. <laughs> Viagra, obviously. The flare, <laughs> Crocs. <laughs> we can make exceptions for those, okay. Now, Obama was really impressed with my triple A theory. He said, I will do that. I will bring my military people back from Syria, put them in the streets, and make farting illegal. So I think change will come after all. Thank you. Thank you, Obama.